We've all heard the argument. Does Bitcoin have intrinsic value? Of course, the rhetorical response is always no, right? And therefore it follows, okay, but then Bitcoin has no value at all. But what is intrinsic value? You know, intrinsic value means value in itself. The thing you possess generates the value you're seeking. No other ingredients are needed. So isn't this intrinsic value argument a red herring? Because frankly, no currency has intrinsic value. In fact, I'm not aware of anything by itself that has intrinsic value other than maybe happiness. And in case you're wondering, but what about gold? I would say no, gold has no intrinsic value, value in and of itself at least not for most of us anyway, because for starters, you don't even know whether or not what you have is gold. Gold doesn't self-identify. You need something else outside of gold, like an assay form, for instance, to actually authenticate it. And it can't even be instantly authenticated. Oh, but that is a trait Bitcoin does quite well, isn't it? Bitcoin can't be counterfeited and it can be rapidly and at very low cost verified as being genuine. It's the hallmark of Bitcoin, in fact. I think we need to start giving a different answer when the subject of Bitcoin and intrinsic value comes up. Does Bitcoin have intrinsic value? We'll concede it doesn't. And again, neither does any other currency. But Bitcoin does have something else. It's called instrumental value. Instrumental value is the value of something because it can be used to do or obtain something else you want, something you desire. It's valuable because it is a necessary ingredient in something else you want or need to do. So let's start talking about Bitcoin's instrumental value and see how these other fiat currencies compare to that standard.